Aloha everyone, this is Cheryl here and this is my favorite part of my day coming home to my family coming home to my animals well I have chickens and two guinea pigs so well I can consider my husband as an animal but I won't go there that is so hilarious but anyway I am out here in my garden by my kale bed and I am gonna pick like the oversized kale like this one I mean it is still edible guys but I prefer the younger ones like these more tender more sweet but these, like this ones, I pick them and I give them to my guinea pigs. I give them to my chickens. They love it. And, you know, if I didn't have chickens and I, you know, wouldn't be able to keep up harvesting my kale, honestly, like, it would be such a waste but thank god I have chickens because for me giving them to my chickens is not a waste it's actually a benefit and guess what I see guys you see that green worm let me zoom in you see that right there and all the droppings right in that leaf like a you can see it right here the droppings from that that worm it that worm right there that's from um actually a, i think it's a caterpillar not a worm but you know it reminds me of one a green soft one but that is from you know that white cabbage moth that flies around in your garden every summer and they like to lay eggs on your kale plants, your broccoli plants, pretty much a lot of plants. But like right here, I'll since it's on this leaf, I'll go ahead and I'm going to just pick this and drop it into the chickens because the chickens will love this for dinner but anyway I'll, I'll collect a lot of kale and I just uh, pretty much use my hands to break it off it's really easy it's not hard it just um, breaks off the stem really really easy I see another cabbage worm right over there I could you know I really have to catch up on my spring but being because it has been raining off and on like you see the leaves there's the raindrops on them and they're wet it just rain like not even joking like a few minutes so if I spray my neem and then this happens I pretty much kind of waste the neem but there's another way that you can take um, care of this problem is to come out, inspect your plants, and just pick them off. Look at that. There's probably like uh, a 50 to 100 more in here. Well, hopefully not, guys. But yeah, I'll just come in here and pick some kale for my chickens and my guinea pigs but this is the um, red Russian kale and then I have some premier kale growing and then I also dropped in some whatchamacallit the blue dwarf curly curled kale but that one didn't make it but I still have these here but anyway guys, I just wanted to share this short, well not really short, it's about 5 minutes video with you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. 
Anyway, take care and I'll go. They are enjoying that kale. It's almost their bedtime. You see, they love that kale. They just munch on it and until they eat all the leaves and then they leave the stems and then the stem decomposes and then the worm gets it. So everything doesn't, nothing goes to waste. But oh my gosh, you know the soil in my chicken pen? It When I walk on it, it feels like I'm walking on like carpet. It's so soft and it kind of sinks in when I walk on it. The chickens are doing a beautiful job. But they love kale. Oh, and I also give them comfrey too. They love comfrey. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.